Yeah, uh, uh, silica again is 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 it has a rather flat price curve until you start getting into the higher purity quartz, which is called HPQ grades. So from a raw sand perspective, you're looking at a starting point that would be 99.5% uh, silica, SiO2. Uh, and then that gets processed up to as much as four nines or plus four nines. In the industry, they call it four N, five N, six N. And so from that perspective, if you're not starting with a really high grade, low in, low impurity, uh, raw product, a silica sand product, then you can't achieve the price points that you get in those higher markets. But when you get into that four N and five N area, you go from, you know, tens of dollars or hundreds of dollars per ton up into the thousands of dollars per ton. So that's obviously our focus. There's a variety of usage uh, endpoints within various industries for that high-end product, but all of those usage endpoints pay a premium price versus what you would get for something that is sub 99.5. The key though is, is, is the type of impurity. So it's not only low impurities are important, but also low uh, thresholds with regards to things like iron content. So if you can't remove uh, your iron content down to a significantly low threshold, then your product, your HPQ product will not qualify uh, for some of the higher end, higher price uses.